Hello and welcome back. So behind me here is my 2018 Arctic Fox 992 truck camper. So let's talk about a small upgrade I did a few years ago and then proceed to describe my latest upgrade which is related to that. So like a lot of RVs, it uses that infernal CH71 key for all of the storage compartments. This is the fresh water fill. Over here is my battery bank. And you can see that lock cylinder looks different. Than, than the other one over here on the water fill compartment. What I did several years ago, and I've actually done this project on several other RVs that I've owned, is I replaced most of the storage compartment locks with a new style lock that is keyed to match the entry door. So you can see here that's the purple handled entry door key. So other than the water compartment, all of my compartments use the same key. And this is a keyless entry that I added a few years ago. I've got a link in the description below on that upgrade. But you can see, same key opens that lock. I have another one down here on my generator compartment, another one on this basement storage compartment, and another little storage compartment. This goes under the dinette. So that one has been upgraded as well. Let's get back to the water compartment. So this uses a strange lock. It's sort of a spring-loaded clip assembly that holds it into the door. And the little cam arm is not removable like it is on a lot of uh, lock barrels that are threaded. So, mystery solved. I finally found a replacement for this that's similar. It's also spring-loaded, so let's go ahead and remove that. You can see it's got a little spring clip on the top and on the bottom. So let's talk about this for just a minute. So you can see it uses a really stubby cam arm, and there's very little offset. Most RV storage compartment doors have a longer cam arm with a little bit more offset. Offset, you can buy different offsets, but most of them are long like that. The lock upgrade project that I did was with locks purchased from the same supplier that RV manufacturers use, which is Global Link. And their website is www.rvlocksandmore.com. So that company now has a key to match spring clip style lock that will fit perfectly in that water compartment access port. You can see here that the cam arm is a little bit different. So there is a replacement cam arm that's similar to what the original lock has. It's sh short and stubby. So the extra offset of this cam arm will be compensated by the longer length of that lock. So we're going to go ahead and Get a screwdriver here and pull this cam arm off. And install that cam arm. And let's do a comparison here of the, the new versus the old. And you can see that it is actually the same. So just like the original, we just uh, kind of get it at a little angle there and pop it into place. Perfect. I love that mod. Super easy. They also have a thumb turn version of that, which is going to look just like this. If you didn't want to have to mess with the key on your water fill access port, then you could get a a non-lock and thumb turn like that. They have a couple of different versions of this listed on their website. It's kind of confusing. So I exchanged a few emails with their salespeople to find out what all the different versions were about. So if we go to rvlocksandmore.com, we'll click on locks and keys and then locks and then click here on cam locks and thumb turns. 
So we scroll down the page a little ways and we can see those two that I was mentioning. There's this one, hatch key lock key to G391. But you see that one, it has both cam arms with it. But we don't want the one that's keyed to G391 because that's just a, another variation or another common key like the CH751. It's just more secure because it's a different key. But then there's this one that's called Hatchlock Key Ready. It, but it only shows the long cam arm with too much offset. So in exchanging a few emails with their sales staff, so she said, order this one here. And there's a note in there to include what key code you want. And then also you should put a note in there that you want this short cam arm. And then what you end up getting is this kit here. So it's kind of confusing. I'll probably exchange a few more emails and ask them to make a better clarification or a different product listing on their website because I'm sure that most people that want to order a new lock that has a key, they're going to want it keyed to the same as everything else. So it's kind of confusing to have to specify when you order this with the key code, but then also in ask for this short cam arm and then what they really ship is this one with two cam arms. So if we go into this listing, it's got a note here. So I just listed my key code and then I said, please also include the stubby cam arm. And they got the order right. It, I ordered it uh, last Thursday and today's Monday and I received it in the mail today. So just be sure to put notes on your key code and also a note to include the stubby arm just to make sure that you do get that and I will have a link down in the description below as well as some more um, notes in there about what I just mentioned.